Every day for 23 months, Diane cared for Reva. Then one day last year, he slipped off into the river and never came back. She hasn't seen him since. Diane has become extremely concerned about Reva's welfare. Did she equip him with all the skills he needed to survive? Is he still alive? Ashley Holland has known Diane since he was a child and helps out at Karanambu. With his knowledge of the local rainforest and Diane's experience of otter behavior, they work out roughly where Reva might be. He scours every corner for telltale movements. Then something catches his eye. It's time to make a call. Oh, hey, good news. So, right, you're camping now? When I'll go and check them out, over. Diane drops everything to catch up with Ashley. He has seen some giant otters, including one that looked familiar. But only Diane will know for sure whether it's Reva. Ashley leads Diane to the best vantage point and shows her where the giant otters were swimming. Then, suddenly, they appear. Wild giant otters cruising straight towards them. Diane examines each little face for the familiar features she knows and loves. And there he is. He looks older, but that's Reva. There's no doubt about it. The wild otters have accepted him as their alpha male. Reva has a new family, but he hasn't forgotten his old foster mother. Reva the orphan has been adopted a second time. It means that he'll probably breed himself. For Diane, Reva is living proof that the work of her Otter Trust is truly worthwhile, not just for individual orphans, but also for the whole species. <laughs>